Hello, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be, um, I guess, putting together my cross stitch patterns that I've already printed. Um, so uh, you may have seen me do this cr pattern here. Uh, so this is a cross stitch pattern that I got from the the stitch patterns on Etsy and I've been doing them as diamond paintings instead and uh, so I have you will see the video of me putting this together next week um, yes even though I've already recorded it you'll see the video of this next week I think so um, but I did do already 12 in here so once I finished 12 I was like I'm gonna put it into um, my photo album that I got from the Dollar Tree um, like you might you've I've already shown some of them here so here's like a Chicago one but yeah that is will be in a future video but for now um, I did get more patterns these are the patterns see these are some of the patterns that showed up because I got a lifetime so I got like from the stitch patterns on Etsy I got like the lifetime membership to their patterns and I've been doing these around the world pictures and these are some of the ones that came in February and March. I didn't print them all because I was trying to print them where I had one portrait and one landscape so it would just fit one sheet of paper because you know I I, I, I want to use the paper up as much as possible. So I, I think I printed eight um, eight of them. So how I've been doing, how I've been figuring out the pattern. So someone had asked me, so, um, I'll link the video where I explained how I printed out the pattern where it's diamond painting size. Um, but I did, someone asked me to make, write it out. So in my shared templates or my shared diamond painting stuff in the miscellaneous folder, I have this here where I kind of give instructions. Now, um, I do work in the science field and a lot of what I'm putting in is pretty much what similar things that we put into our um, SOPs or standard operating procedures. So it might look a little scientific and math mathy but that's pretty much how i know how to do things that's how i know how to do things so yeah this it yeah so um but i do give a i did do a video of me showing what i was doing on camera um in a previous video but if you need i don't know like i said i don't this this is helpful to me but i don't know like my brain is science based so i don't know if this might look too much like math for people <laughs> so but yeah that is available somewhere there um so yeah i have these patterns here this is actually my stuff for my journal i just pretty much put i just um snipped the picture and put it onto here and then i snipped the picture of the legend here um so it is a little bit smaller but i could read it <laughs> And how I'm going to prep them is I am planning to, so here's like one I have finished. Um, I'm planning to mm, laminate them so that it's a little bit thicker. I printed this on regular paper. Um, so this is just regular paper and I just want to, I don't know, just thicken it a little bit to make good for diamond paintings. And then I'll also put in the double-sided adhesive on it. So, so here is some laminating sheets. I have my laminator here. Should I move you up a little bit? So there's my laminator there. Um, some my laminating sheets here. It's a little static, so sometimes taking them out kind of They stick together so here's my one laminating sheet and since I only am laminating it on one side because I, I figure I don't need to I have two sheets of paper here see two sheets of paper and I'm going to and 
and you could probably just I don't know it, you could probably just do it on just the regular paper or I was doing it on cardstock too or maybe you could use like 32 pound paper or 28 pound paper to make it a little bit easier we're still opening on this one um but I for whatever reason I like I like the feel of it laminated and I have a laminator so it's not like something that I had to buy anything for so I apparently fail when I show it on camera so I'm just trying to so there and I'll push that through the laminator but yeah and no, I think I like I like it with the paper and then laminated I was thinking of laminating both sides but I feel like you don't need both sides laminated so I'm saving on a laminating paper here um, By doing this okay it still says ready so there's that and I figure while I have the stuff laminated um, you may have seen this in my video from Wednesday I was working on this on my whip and chat um, I actually put it in a sheet protector I cut off the thing with the holes because it doesn't fit in this bag here um, but I, I was like you know I think I like it with the laminated paper so I have the rest of the sheets here so this this is my heaven and earth designs done painting so I will um, Since I have the laminator, laminator out, I'm going to laminate these two. So I don't think I have them in any particular order. Um, okay. Static. So I've been doing my Heaven and Earth designs the same way, um, laminating them. And plus, I really do think that after after laminating it, the 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 writing just looks nice and crisp. So, but yeah, you could probably just do it on the paper directly. I just I just like the the added. Um, um, what do you call that? The added thickness. I have the laminating does. But yeah, you could probably just use cardstock if you don't have a laminator. But the laminators are actually relatively affordable, I think. Um, at least when I got mine. It was less than $20, um, and it came with like 20 laminating sheets. And then these laminating sheets here, I got for like $10 for, I think it was $10 for the 100. So, oh, it's not ready. And now it's ready. And I've used my laminator a lot now. You, you know, it's like one of those things you have it, so you use it. Yeah. I use it to make my covers for my journals. I use it to make cardstock just a little stiffer.
But yeah, look at look at how how much crisper, I don't know, the writing is. I don't know if you could tell from the camera after you laminate it. So it's still green. So this is the last page. I ended up like the last page, the last three pages are just like this. So I was like, I printed one, turned the paper around, printed the other one, and then I cut it, and then I still had enough space. So this is just like one sheet of paper. Um, let's try to get it on here nicely. So it'll probably be easier to put that sheet of paper. The, red, the ready light's gone. And then I think that's the last of the stuff I'm laminating. Come on, ready light. Oh, there it is. Right. So meanwhile, I'm just going to um, cut off just the edges so then it will split. I'm, I'm leaving a little bit of white there, so it'll split the pages. So there, now I have these laminated. There, and for whatever reason, I don't know why, I like putting it through the laminator again. after I cut things. Just making sure I'm not going to be actually cutting anything, any pattern. I shouldn't be cutting any pattern. This is the one that's closer to the edge of the pattern. I said I don't know why but I have this I feel compelled to re um, put it through the the laminator is possibly getting cut. Okay, this is the side closest to the pattern. Okay. 
do this one. Okay, this side is the closest to the pattern. So I'm just making sure I'm not cutting off the pattern in any way. <laughs> So now I can cut these patterns, actually, yeah, patterns. Here, you don't need all that extra. done with the laminator so I could turn off the laminator. So now I have a whole bunch of patterns here that I could add the double-sided adhesive to. So I'm pretty much like making my own diamond paintings. Um, I've been, for whatever reason, I've been really, really enjoying doing the cross stitch patterns as diamond paintings. So since that's what, that's, I'm, you know, like you, you go into moods when you diamond paint, like, Right, so right now my mood is to diamond paint these small projects, um, these cross stitch patterns. So don't like don't force yourself to diamond paint something you don't feel like diamond painting. these when I need them. All right. So I also have my, oh wait, I still have 
I still have this one to cut. Okay. So yeah, making my own diamond paintings. But yeah, putting double-sided um, tape on these things gives me this new appreciation. Like every time we come, we complain that there's a river or bubble in a double-sided adhesive diamond painting, I look back at how hard it is to put them on to these things and I'm like, okay, I get it. It's difficult. So this is my journal entry. Since I am making them, I might as well make my journal entry here. And if you've seen my journal, I do use um, Mushroom Punch. So there I set it up to the 8.5, so eight and a half. So for the eight and a half by 11 half sheet. Put it in my journal. I do have numbers for these, like you know, I number them. There's seven, seven, nine, eighty-one, eighty-two. It doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna put this in my journal for things that I have kitted up. Um, technically, I don't have these kings kitted up, but I have them prepared because I'm just going to use my stash drills. Um, so I have these ready whenever I feel I, I have this journal entry ready whenever I feel like doing one of these. So, so yeah, now I have eight of them. So now what I'm going to do is I have some uh, double-sided sheets here. I the whole reason I was I got my Heaven and Earth Designs one out is because I do like using the scrap um, sheets for me, my smaller ones instead of using a big one because I need the big ones for these. So. And um. And I'm only going to put the double-sided tape on the part I'm going to use. I'm going to diamond paint first. So when I was doing these, I do leave, I'll do, I'll, I'm going to leave um, the, the last edge open so that, so let's see, let's put these in some sort of order. Let's see. That's the last page. So 12. That's. Oh, that's okay so that's eight seven six five four am i missing three? Oh, here's three three two all right so um i leave this this part open here so that I can put it on top of over here and match it so there's an 80 and 80 there. So I will put those, I'm going to cut this, this little edge out here. See this white edge. And then I'm going to put tape. My plan is to put tape like here and then put it on top like that and put them together like that. 
Um, and the reason I'm not diamond painting all the way to the edge is so that um, when I so when I put it together, it's not going to be obvious where the line ended. Um, does that make sense? And then this is this here is just double sided tape that I put on to put edges. So I do plan to just use small like double sided tape instead of these strips because instead of these um, sheets. So double sided. So I have whole sheets of double sided tape here instead of the um, instead of the, like the using this for the little edges I'm just going to use t like tape like this kind of tape I could also just use that tape for all the small ones I did do it for I don't know I ran out of extra sheets so I had like this little one and now these are all just like little double sided tape that I just put on there So yeah, so I'm going to make the next set for this here. So I think I might diamond paint these backwards. So start at the bottom and then go up because it's easier to, when I was looking at it, it's, it's going to be easier for me to put tape on the second page and then put it on top. So it'll get heavy to put it on top if I do the top front part first. Does that make sense? It'll be easier for me to do the last page and then start putting the things one by one on top of it instead of um, trying to add this to the bottom of it. So, but I, I do plan to diamond paint the pages first before putting them together just, just because it's easier to work with a smaller section. But yeah, the whole reason I'm not diamond painting all to the way to the edge is when I'm putting it together um, I won't see like the lo obvious line between the pages because I think if I were to diamond paint them all the way to the edge and then try to like put them together you're going to see that line where the pages ended because it's not going to be like completely straight I don't know if that makes sense um, but if you diamond paint on it, it'll, it'll look more like a normal diamond painting. So it won't be a straight line. If that makes sense. I think, I think what I'm saying makes sense. Um, <laughs> but yeah, look at, look at how like gray this is. This is actually, this was the whip and chat from Wednesday where I'm doing this image here so this is like actually the first one over there but i think i might start going backwards so i'm gonna go down start down here and go but let's go put some <laughs> double-sided tape. So this might be a long-ish video. I, I was thinking, yeah, it shouldn't be that long. Um, so I'm gonna leave the, this is the top, okay. So I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave like the last um, square. Leave the last square not done. that. So now, so now that is, yeah, that's correct for that. 
So now I'm going to, wait, I'm like off camera. Let's go this way. <laughs> you down so now I'm just trying to see I'm just trying to now I'm gonna just cut it so that it fits in there so yeah when I do this I'm gonna have all of this excess so that when I put them together it will be um, you won't see where one ends and one begins too much so I, I, I thought of like doing just a little bit less but I like um, staying in these ten in between the the darker lines like you can see there's some darker lines there Hoping to put these on nicely. So, yeah, I know how not easy it is to put these on. So Kudos to those that this is their job, putting together these diamond paintings. So, finish that page. You know what? I'm gonna get another. This is a sheet protector. I'm just gonna take off the holes because it doesn't fit in my my thing here with this I'm just gonna put them in the sheet protector put them just to put them in order so this is the edge so the only part that's actually going to be touching things is this here so I'm actually gonna do a bigger sheet of paper here a bigger double-sided adhesive sheet on this one because yeah see where this is gonna connect it's gonna connect with here um, so there's then yeah so this one I'm actually There. But yeah, the whole reason I'm doing this first is seriously so that I could use these scraps for my smaller one. Because I'm going to have a bunch of scraps after I'm done doing this. Let's 
See, I already have several scraps and they would be good for those small ones. I think the one also nice reason to have the laminated thing is if you do mess up, you can probably lift it up if this was just paper. There'd be no lifting it up. Yeah, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a bubble here. See, I did so well on my first one. that I got complacent. <laughs> so yeah, this one is not as straight, but that's okay. As long as most of the drill field is covered, the drills will stay on. We'll stay on. So, page three here. Might need a second sheet protector, I don't know. This is, yeah, page, yeah, this page three, yeah, page four. So this is the next, it's the one down. So I'm going to just put it to here. But yeah, I'm just doing this all at once so that I could have it ready when I'm doing it um, instead of doing it as I go along. Because sometimes, you know, you don't feel like doing this or, you know, you have it already out. But like I said, I wasn't I wasn't actually planning to do the um, put all this stuff on the Heaven and Earth Designs one. It's just that. Oops, I missed. Did I do this wrong? No. It just seems like this is farther down. Yeah, that's right. And that's right. Is it just an illusion? Goes up to there. And that does go up to there. I don't know. Well, oh, they are straight. Yeah. Ooh, wait, no, no, I'm wrong. I need to go all the way over here because this is the first page. I don't need to, this is the first, this is that, this is the edge. So I don't need to go down that. I don't need to leave a space. So here. I would actually probably be faster at this if I wasn't doing it on video. <laughs>
So um, doing the heaven and earth designs this way might like you might be like Joan it seems like more work it might be in the beginning but I think actually diamond painting it it's it's not as much work so initial setup yes man I, I messed up at this one initial setup yes um, I'm gonna probably I might have to add some some tape at the edge here to fix that but that'll be when I go do it because I'm gonna just use tape um, the initial setup might be a little bit more, but I think overall quantity of hours you're going to spend diamond painting this will be less. So, so I'm, gonna, I'm not going to put tape on these ones because I actually do plan to put these together, um, put these together and then do do them because these this is so small i might as well just do one big sheet of paper yeah I might as well just, just do one sheet of paper so i'll do these separately i'm gonna put them into another sheet protector here do those until the end because that's like all the way at the bottom <laughs> am I still gonna diamond paint this in order of sheet maybe okay probably It'll be one of those things where I feel like I'm not done yet because I only have a bunch of like non-finished, I'm gonna just have a bunch of pages done, but I think in the end it'll... it'll work out. to leave some one you do leave a little just one you only end up with a smaller the ones that are in the center more you do end up down painting less of it because it is in the center that one much better. <laughs>
in. This one is more at the edge. So... go all the way to the edge. I think this is the hardest part is removing the paper to start it. Okay. But yeah, the the folks that work at the diamond painting factories that may put the double-sided adhesive on, it's not easy. <laughs> so, and they go through, they do so many more. So they must have to have a come up with a technique. All right, so I have several pages of that already now. Um, so I could go put it in with my finish one here. The well, the one that I've finished already. I guess I'm going to use a couple of those pay, um, sheet protectors. I was just kind of shoving them into here, but I do think I need the sheet protectors so that the drills don't pop off. So at least sheet protectors are relatively cheap. All right, so now, now I can put some of use these use these. I do have some more over here. So now I could just use these to uh, to do these. That's too big. This one is smaller. Nope, that's still too big. Ooh, will it do two this way? If I find the right combo, I don't know why I'm spending so much effort. All right, wait, let's see. big so this one all okay, right so it's not gonna work perfectly so I'm probably just going to have to cut them maybe I should just do it this way
yep, I kind of kind of messed up there a little bit. It doesn't matter as long as it's relatively good coverage, it will still work. thin piece there. There, that's good enough. <laughs> so, that's nope, I'm off by one. Oh well. this small pieces there so yeah now I'm gonna be ready to do several of these whenever I feel like it because sometimes you know I do one of these and then I do another one of them oh man I think I think I I didn't put that in that straight so there's gonna be a, a river there but that's okay just poke it with your sharp tweezers and it should pop the river or not river but there's going to be a bubble okay next one That one. Let's 
So I feel like I'm like a diamond painting <laughs> factory or something, making a diamond painting. Sometimes the side that the paper comes off of is not the side you were anticipating. <laughs> okay, I think I'm getting better. one actually might be able to be enough for without me having to cut lengthwise. Yeah, it's only just a little bit overhang, so I think that might be okay. This is what I'm doing instead of kidding up. <laughs> I'm making diamond paintings. Yes. Oh, I see. I might have some bubbles in that one too. So, Sydney Opera House. The other one was like the Paraguay River. I think I really like that one. That one looks really nice. The Paraguay River one. bunch of little pieces. Sometimes when I'm feeling ambitious I just use the little pieces on a on one. It gets hard though. It'd be one of those ones that I would do right away. the Taj Mahal. Oh, wait, do I have enough of these these pieces that are the right height? Probably not.
I do have a little strip here, but there should be enough adhesive on it. It should be fine. Some pyramids. Okay, there is a little strip there I messed up on, that's okay. So this last one, I'm like thinking, I'm like, can I use these strips? They're like the right height because I went and cut them to this here. So I might just do this one with strips. there so you could use double-sided tape for this too if you don't have the double-sided sheets especially for these small ones these see that's too short maybe I should use this too No, I didn't. That was bad. There. Okay. There. So 
for now. This one is short. See, making maximum use of my double sided tape. <laughs> it's like a puzzle. Except not as colorful. <laughs> Oh, do I have one that will fit here? Okay. These are actually all about the same height. Wondering whether I should just I should just dye and paint it. I should just leave it on there. It's a really thin strip there. There I now I use the scraps of my scraps. See there, yay! <laughs> Wait, that's still tape. Okay. So now, now I have a little bit more scraps. I do have like a baggie here for my small scraps. Um, and the wise, I'll keep my bigger scraps in there. So now, yes, there it is. It took, took me a little longer than I thought it would, um, but now I'm ready to to do several of these little mini projects here. Um, I do actually still have, I mean, my mini projects that look like this be look on next week will be my video that I show um, putting that together. But I do still have, I think three more from my previous times. I'm gonna cut this. Um, three more. from the previous times I was doing it. So now I have, so then with this eight, I'll have 11. Ooh, I, I need one, I need one more to do 12. Um, but yeah. So that's all I have for today. So thank you for keeping me company while I was doing this kind of menial task. But you know, what am I kidding up? You're like, it's Mignol's has too, and I don't know, you might find this kind of video interesting. All right, so that's all I have for today. So thank you very much for watching, and happy time in painting. Bye!